okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knocked a man out, destroyed my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's leaving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. Hello everyone and welcome back to Spider-Man. Yeah, MJ is a little bit cross at us after we kinda screwed up last time and ruined her lead. And she also did not tell us about the Grand Central Station thing, which we of course we know that the demons are planning something there. MJ chose not to tell us about that, so... So Peter's in the dark, as far as that is concerned. And yeah, she does seem to be kind of angry for, well, about the fact that Peter is kind of treating her in an overprotective manner, I suppose. That's Miles' mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Drio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please, call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim. Or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aime know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. And yeah, Miles is going to start at the Fist Center as well. Spider-Man, can you help us out? Spider-Man, we just caught a sniper stalking Mayor Osborne's chief of staff. I'm pretty sure there are other targets. Our perp had a map of the city with the courthouse circle. I'm on it. See if you can get more info out of our friend here and contact me at this number. I need to hurry. The attack on the courthouse could come any second. So now we have to stop some demon snipers. So let's get on with that. If the sniper sees me near the target, he'll take the shot. Only chance is to take out the gunman before he can fire. Well, that's easy enough. Just go around him without him seeing and take him out. Half time. Nobody likes a camper. Spider-Man! We accessed the perp's phone. Found more names and locations. Looks like it's all going down within a matter of minutes. No pressure. Send me what you got. Multiple snipers, one Spider-Man. I need to move fast. Anyone who's ever worked on Norman's campaign is a potential target now. That's one way to destroy Osborne, I guess. Make it so nobody wants to be around him. Three snipers, a little bit over two minutes to go, so... We have to move. The time limit here is not actually super strict. We have plenty of time to do all this. Now where's the assassin? Can't... One down, two to go. Yeah, they're pretty close by, to be perfectly honest, so... The timer adds a little bit of stress, but nothing too major, I would say.
Just around the corner here, we can see our next target. Gotta check out all possible vantage points for snipers. Right, where is this guy? Target safe. Only one to go. If I'm too slow, people die. Speaking of which, I hope they get that guy down before the ever try and work around my schedule. Before the web expires. Here somewhere. Sleep it off. And that was our last target. We have to take care of his friends as well here. Nothing too special. Just in time. Officer, all three snipers are down. Are we in the clear? Not quite. Our perp says his boys are holding a bunch of tourists hostage. He says they'll execute them all if we don't let them go. We have a probable location based on cell phone towers. But if they see cops, they'll start shooting. Act like you're negotiating. Stall them. I'll take away their bargaining chips. They won't leave witnesses. Either I save the hostages, or they're dead. I guess we'd better save them then. If they see me, they can kill all the hostages before I get close. Our demands are simple. Release our comrades, or the hostages die. We're working with the DA to If I'm spotted, man. those hostages are dead. Gotta take out these guys quietly. Okay, so here we have a pretty basic stealth mission. First take out the guys on the upper level here on the ring and then move your way down towards the hostages. In hindsight I probably could have used a trip wire for this but... But I ended up just waiting for him to get close so I could take him down. Because I was kind of worried that the tripwire could maybe raise the attention of one of these guards. Which would obviously not be ideal. That is seemingly all of the guys here on the upper level. But if we look at the minimap and Spider-Man's um, whatever they, they call the, the, um, detective vision in this. There was that guy as well. But yeah, now we can move on to the lower level. Alright. Got two guys in the middle here. As well as one walking around, patrolling. Plus, of course, that's one guy who is with the hostages. Obviously, we want to split these three guys back here. They'll take care of that. The demons seem to be noticing that something is a little bit off. Go and that takes care of them. I wouldn't have known about it if not for you. We make a good team, officer. Hey, see if you can convince more of your buddies to work with me instead of shooting at me, okay? Peter, I'm about to begin another test. 
Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, we got a couple of side missions that we could do at this point, but I guess we should maybe go go see Dr. Octavius at the lab. Folks, you've no doubt heard about the riot at Empire State University. But this is not your usual toxic mix of underage drinking, entitled millennials, and hormones run rampant. Authorities are keeping a tight lid on the situation, but my sources tell me the demons drug the students, turning them into deadly rage machines. What has become of our fair city, ladies and gentlemen, when we have to fear our own children, our neighbors, our husbands and wives? Be vigilant, be on guard, and keep a close eye on that barista with the man bun making your skinny latte, or you could be next! Felicia's leading me on a chase, but that's what's going to help me find her. By feeding all the past locations into an algorithm, I can narrow down her likely point of origin. Yeah, we are getting pretty close to finding out the Black Cat's hideout. Of course, first off, we have to find, find this little cat here. Where is it? There we go. Meow. I was too late to stop her here, but one or two more locations should give me enough data to pinpoint her hideout. Yeah, but for now we'll just head to the lab. I'm pretty sure it's also supposed to be like 2 a.m. at this point. But never mind that. We also have another side quest marker here, right next to the lab. That is the side mission where we go and hunt down Tombstone. Because MJ left the materials about that stuff at the lab earlier, so that's also where we can access that. Also, we can now instantly take down one of the rifle and pistol enemies. But yeah, let's go and see what's going on at the lab. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Yeah, it seems like... Dr. Octavius himself is not entirely sure what time it is at this point. He's been so absorbed in his work, I guess. Let's see, we have some stuff we can interact with, like this audio log, which does not play for some reason. And at this point I'm slightly confused as to why that is. So I just walk around a bit. And see if we can interact with that again. Let's try this again, shall we? The device will need two parts to function. The first will be an entirely original prosthesis, a modular system of micro cables able to take on any number of forms, whatever the user can imagine. The second part, and this, Peter, is the true genius is a direct neural interface, a direct tap straight into the basal ganglia. Unleash the brain from your mind to reality. This goes beyond limb replacement, Peter. This will free all of us from the shackles of our bodies. Like your web friend, soon we'll all be capable of living our most amazing fantasies. Now specifically, amazing fantasy number 15, I guess. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Doc loves these things. 
Used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. Yeah, in the comics I believe that manipulating um, radioactive isotopes was actually what led to the accident that made Otto Dr. Octopus way back in the 60s. And apparently he's also been workshopping a slogan for the company, which of course is always useful. Just see it at the back here if there's anything interesting. The news clippings we already looked at. So there's some new stuff on the whiteboard. Hmm. Yeah, he's really been working on those designs. And another audio log. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <sighs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. Yeah, from that we can infer that Dr. Octavius is very ill. We don't know the details yet, but maybe we'll learn more when we talk to the man himself. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. optimize this power relay right so now we are optimizing the um, or reducing the lag on this neural interface and of course we're gonna have to do more of these puzzles here so I'll just cut to the end of each one nice okay what next that's one. It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Yeah, we have to get it under three milliseconds and we are not there yet. Those cannot be moved, so... We have to kind of reroute the whole thing around it. And that'll do that. Finished. Getting close. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. Just a little more and we should be okay. Got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter.
I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... It can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. So, yeah, we have learned the truth about Dr. Octavius' illness, I guess. Some sort of a neural degenerative disorder causing him to lose control of his motor functions in a short period of time, and that, quite frankly, sounds absolutely horrifying. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Yeah, I don't know. I understand why he is anxious to get this thing up and running, but... Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Yeah, you really don't want to rush this kind of thing. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Apparently we spent quite a while at the lab just now. Because it is now daytime. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so. Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. And yeah, Miles is supposed to start at the Feast Center today, so we of course want to be there to welcome him and get him started and all that. Friends, there's a fine line between being a conspiracy theorist and seeing a clear pattern. I walk that line, and I am confident perceiving a common thread among these attacks on Oscorp and Norman Osborne by the Deep. The motive? It's hard to ascribe motive to lunatics. But I suspect it's no accident that they're striking at both the pillar of our corporate community and the center of our city's government. It's our very way of life that's under assault. As I have always warned, if you've been listening to me, you're ready. If not, I'll pray. 
Well, we should be ready then. Anyway, we'll just head on over to the marker there and trigger the next cutscene and that'll be it for this video. I will see you next time. What are you doing here? Oh, we got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. <laughs> If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock. Okay? I can <clears throat> Oh, sh... S sorry No, no. No. It's all good. <laughs> you keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. You know... Anytime. Just find Spider-Man.